word because I feel the power of the Holy Ghost popping out these pages. Job 19, 25. Read this aloud with me. For I know that my Redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. We're dealing with the Job formula, tracing God. The Job formula, tracing God. Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth. That's how I was able to tell Minister Williams when she was worried and said her son was even contemplating suicide when the baby mama sold the baby to an adoption agency for twenty thousand dollars and and they thought they were not going to get the baby back i told her from day one it's a done deal because of my ability to trace god i know the works of god i know the handy works of god so we don't push the panic button when things look like somebody shout when it look like hallelujah when it look like it's not going our way Job was sick on his sick bed, on his deathbed, and he was going through hell and high water, but he was able to declare, I know my Redeemer liveth. I heard a preacher say something on Sunday, and, 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 and they, said, they said that if you could trace God, then that wouldn't be God. It sounded good, but it was dead wrong. I mean, it sounded good when it was there wrong because I heard that same preacher a couple of years ago trace God talk about how they was on they was on the, at their wits end and they had locked themselves up in prayer and they had told God I'm not leaving this prayer spot I'm not leaving this chair unless you bless me and they said they felt a breakthrough in that room and then they've been blessed ever since so they had to trace God to be able to share what God did years before they just said Sunday, if you could trace God, he wouldn't be God. I'm here to tell you, you can trace God. Every time you testify, you're tracing God. Every time you tell about what God has done, every time you tell her the things that God is doing in your life, naturally just testify about she always had joy and people would laugh at her and say that is not normal. But she traced God to the message on Sunday and said unhappiness is what's not normal. When I got up this morning, I traced who woke me up. I traced, could nobody wake me up? But God, I trace nobody could give me health and strength and breath to breathe. But God, I trace the stuff that God made me hear, see, or read days or months before I was sick on my sick bed. Every time I recovered from any sickness is because I can trace the hand of God. I can trace what God said, drink this, eat this. I saw somebody do this or say this or read this. And they used it to my advantage even before I knew I needed it. God was the one that led God and directed me every step of the way. That's what kept Job grounded was his ability to trace God. And Job would have lost his mind had he not be able to say, I know my Redeemer liveth. Job said, you can't tell me God is dead because I've traced him too much. He said, what do you think that kept Job being faithful? What do you think kept Job's mind regulated? It was his ability to trace God. He said, I know God's behind this because I've traced him before. I know that God is going to allow me to recover because I've traced him before. I know God is going to bless me out of this rut, out of this negative situation, in spite of what my friends, in spite of what my wife is saying, because I've traced him before. Job said, I don't know when and I don't know how, but I know one thing that's behind this, and he's going to take me through this the same person that's behind this is going to get me through this because i've traced god the same one i trust in this is the same one that's going to lead me through this because i traced god oh god joe was able to trace god because god is traceable 
Don't you know that God is traceable. I told Sister Addison and Brother Bruce Sunday, I, said, I told him about it and I mentioned it briefly in the church message on Sunday that this is the first time in human history when two of the richest men in the world are being divorced from their wives at the same time. This never happened before in history. Women don't divorce men like that. Especially the richest men in the world. First time it's ever happened in history. Where you can go through the history books and read, never have the two top richest men in the world been divorced at the same time. That's never happened. You better trace what God is saying. You got to trace what God is saying. Whenever there's a first, God is behind something. God is speaking to the world about something. What does it profit for a man to gain the whole wide world? And to lose his soul. That's what it said in Matthew 16 and 26. But well, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Acts 8 and 20. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Second Chronicles 25 and 9. And Amaziah said to the man of God, What shall we do for this hundred talents which I've given to the hundred army of Israel, which now is about to go to waste? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. God is saying, It's more than your money, Bill Gates. It's more than your money, Jeff Bezos. You got to get back to me here. You got to get the world got to get back to me because you can have all the money in the world but lose your mind. You can have all the money in the world and lose your family. You can have all the money in the world and look like a natural bone fool. You got to get back to me. If you ain't with me, you risking everything. Uh -huh. Anytime there's a first, you better trace God and hear what God is saying. Whenever there's a first time that's traceable, there's something that can be traced. The first person to sin was Eve. The first person to murder was Cain. The first patriarch was Abraham. The first virgin was Mary. The first child to be born by the Holy Ghost was Jesus. The first secretary of Jesus People Church was Sister Adams. The first devil buster, Reverend William. The first couple to bless Pastor Kina with thousands, Tiffany and Harvey. The first pastor to see God in you enough to use you with Pastor Kina. There's a way, whenever there's a first, so whenever there's a first, son, you better take notice of that thing. Whenever there's a first time, that means God blows it up and magnifies it. Don't you be little for first, hallelujah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The first pastor to see God enough in you. Kavitra, to say, get the microphone, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Pastor Kaina, 1 Corinthians 4 and 15, Paul knew the power first. That's why he said, don't you have many 10,000 instructors, MJ? He said, you got 10,000 instructors, Angela. He said, you can go on YouTube, you can hear Jake's, you can hear Joe Osteen, you can hear all these preachers. But Paul said, I'm your daddy. Paul said, I'm the first one that begat you. I'm the one that gave you an ear to be able to hear all the rest of them. Hallelujah. He said, whenever there's a first, you got to see the signs of God preach holy Ghost. Paul said, I have begot you. He said, I begot you to this thing. I impregnated the word of God in you. And I'm just telling it like a T-I-E-S. Because I can trace God to when you were birthed. I can trace God when you went from behind the cover line into running the ministry. I can trace it. Hallelujah. I can trace. Don't tell me you can't trace God. I can trace what he does. I can trace you coming through them doors in the Holiday Inn, Rehob, on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a Valentine's night for service. And the next thing you know, you was asking me a thousand questions after the service. I can trace what God has done in our lives. I can trace you getting out the hospital room, Felicia, over and over. I can trace your heels hanging up in the hospital room saying, I'm going to walk again. 
You can't tell me I can't trace God. I can trace him. I can trace him. I can trace him. Tell you when you stood over there and testified about how you felt unfairly treated by your family and how God used you to bless your family even though they were no good most of the time. I can trace when God started overseeing you overflow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I can trace it. Uh, I can trace it. I can trace it. Just like you got to be able to trace them. So I got to I gotta go to Chicago, right? And I sent my daughter a text by mistake saying, I have a meeting in Chicago. Find out if Michael Jordan Steakhouse is open because it's the pandemic and a lot of these places are closed. I said, find out for me. Then she texted me. She said, huh? I said, my bad, I texted you by mistake. Then she goes, are you coming to Chicago next week? I said, yes. She said, I'm going to be coming next week. At the same time, you're going to be there. Don't tell me you can't trace God. Because what are the chances that I have a meeting that should have been in Memphis a couple of times? And I said, I'm not going to let the distance stop me. I want to go to the baseball game anyway. Book me. What are the chances of my daughter in L.A. coming to the same place that her dad is coming at the same time without us ever, ever knowing it? If you can't trace the hand of God behind that, you lost your mind. Can nobody do that but God? How do I know? Because I can trace him. I trace who put our schedules together. I trace every miracle that go back to God. I can trace all the blessings that go back to God. James 1 and 17, James 1 and 17, it said, every good and perfect gift is from above. Somebody shout every. And coming down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness. Neither shadow of turning. Every being all members of his set without exception. God said everything that happened to you. We sing their songs of Adam. Everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. Don't tell me you can't trace God. Job said I know my redeemer liveth. I can trace him. I can trace what he's done. Because everything that happened to me the day that was good. God was behind it. Oh, I can stop right there at James 1 and 17. Every good and perfect gift. Hallelujah. I know I can trace them out because everything that happened to me that blows my mind, everything that happens to me that make me say hallelujah, everything that happened to me that say thank you, Jesus, everything that happened to me that make me say glory be unto you, God, everything that happened to me that shocked me, that put me in a state of awe, that makes me shiver, that makes me say, oh my God, that make me put my hand over my mouth, it's all to make me move to another realm, another level because my mind is blown because this thing happened and it would have never happened had not God been involved. Everything that make me wonder, why did you do this to me? Why did you bless me like this? Everything that makes me shout, everything that makes me boast in the Lord, everything that makes me look clean, everything that make me smell fresh, everything that make me feel that I'm the best, everything that God does, everything Everything goes back to him. Everything, somebody shout, everything goes back to him. Everything. Everything. The gentleman that fixed the pulpit. I was going to see Chris Daly Jr. in the hospital. Leaving the hospital. Couldn't find anybody. Leaving the hospital. Didn't see a handyman phone number on the back of a truck. I said, if I wouldn't have been doing good, I wouldn't have found a handyman. If I wouldn't have been doing good, I wouldn't have found the people that paint the church. If I wouldn't have been good, I wouldn't have found the man that put the towel in the women's bathroom because I was leaving the hospital to visit Chris Daly Jr. and film somebody. Been wanting to do the floors for years, but couldn't find nobody good enough. I could trust enough that was qualified enough to put them floors in that bathroom. But I trace it back to God when I was going to the hospital every you can't tell me. You can't tell me. 
We blessed some people. We took some grocery to somebody's house and found a hundred dollar bill. If it was doing good, I wouldn't have found a hundred. You can't tell me that you can't trace God. I was going to buy somebody else a car. I was going to help Sister Alice buy her car and turn around and bought me in a city. Over ten years ago, I was trying to do good, trying to get the woman, hurry up and get in the car. And God said, I got something for both of y'all. I can trace it. But I can trace him out. Oh, if you think about his goodness, you can trace him too. If you think about what he's done for you, you can trace him too. Tell about I, I can trace him. I can trace him. Oh, I, can, I can trace him, Keisha. I, I can trace God. Listen, I learn, and most of us, we learn how to trace in the first grade. <laughs> we learned how to trace in the first grade. For people who couldn't draw like me, learning to trace was magical. <laughs> That's how they taught us to write out numbers. They would put the numbers on a little sheet of paper and they would barely allow us to see the little dotted lines that we would have to put the pencil to the dotted line and this how I learned to write one because I traced that's how I learned to write too because I could trace y'all forgot about that uh, uh, that's how the Holy Ghost don't forget though uh, he brings all things to your remembrance that's how I learned to write three I started tracing it and next thing you know they removed the trace lines and I was writing it by myself Oh God, oh God, listen, 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 listen. I, I, I was drawing stuff, y'all. So when, you, when you're drawing, you got to create your own stuff. But when you're tracing stuff, the lines are already there. Miss it, miss it, miss it, wait. They make it light. They make the lines light. They italicize it kind of. They make it light so you can barely see it. But you can notice it. You can't see God, but you can't notice him. I can't see him, but I notice. Cornelia, I notice he gave me a way of escape. I, I know this, this was, this was for me. This was for me. I noticed. There was nobody or someone I needed. I noticed the breakthrough came. Nobody or so what I was praying about. Nobody or so I was about to lose my mind. But I noticed every time God would slip a ram in the bush. Every time. Folks thought they was dogging me out. God will send somebody like Keisha and make me a cake. Just to let me know what God ain't forgot you. When the people that should have been taking care of me, I noticed God be somebody else. I, I, I notice. I can notice God. I can't see him, but I can notice. That's what being able to trace does. I, can, I, can, I, can, I notice that little bitty line they must want me to make a one that, that little bitty line that little bitty dotted line is barely there they must want me to make a two I notice I notice Just about, don't make me notice God want me to get about your face because you may not can see it but I can trace I, I, can, I can trace them. I, I can trace them. You got to learn how to notice God. You got to learn how to notice how God put us all together. As Brother Ricardo said, a group of a bunch of, a, a lot of anointed people all under one roof that love God and serve God together on one accord. I noticed that. I notice 
how he's blessing us individually and collectively because that's our prayer anthem of Jesus people church Lord bless us individually and collectively and I notice how every time a new car come on the lot every time somebody testify about a bill being paid off every time these saints keep giving these multiple digits ties and offering I notice Angelo I notice can't nobody do that but God I notice when I talk to my mega church pastor friends and they kind of say how everything going they kind of fishing to see are we struggling like they are and, and, and I don't pray I just say man I just thank God for, for being God I, I don't say nothing I don't say how this has been the best year to have and you that we ever been I don't make my own stop bragging because I know they're going through. I know they're suffering. And I, and I know, I know that it, it, it's, it's tough on them and it's glorious on this side. I, I don't say that. I just notice. I just notice what God is doing in our lives. Tell about it. You got to notice God. So Timothy is like, I was getting ready Wednesday, Sunday night. I was getting ready to assign Sister Adams to teach this before I went in the prayer closet after, after Sunday night service. I was, I was going to have Sister Adams teach this, but then God said, all she's going to do is trace everything back to you. She's going to pass you the baton. She's going to talk about how when her little girl got sick in elementary named Elise Adams, how she brought her to you and you prayed for her. And she ain't never been sick like that again. All she gonna do is, is start off with how she can trace the blessings back to when I said God's gonna use us, okay? God's gonna bless us, okay? All she's gonna do is trace how she first said, I can't read the Bible. And then I said, if you can read Shakespeare, you can read the Bible. All she gonna do is trace how God used us to turn $200 to $2 million. All she going to do is just notice the lines. All she going to do is just notice the lines that God has already done. When you trace God, you're going to trace him right back to the scripture. 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest. The Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. Tell somebody, it seemed like I lost a lot of times. But ain't nobody ever got the spiritual victory over me. Tell somebody, ain't nobody ever got the spiritual victory over me. Nobody's ever got the spiritual victory over me. Nobody's ever put me to the state that I was so low that I wanted to kill on myself. Nobody's ever put me down so low that I didn't think I was going to rise again. Nobody's ever put me down into a state where I didn't feel like that my God was able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we're able to ask a thing. Tell somebody, nobody's ever got the spiritual victory over me. Because all I got to say is I know my Redeemer living. Neither is how we got to cry. I know my Redeemer living. On my sick bed, I know my Redeemer living. When the bills are due, Angela, I know my Redeemer living. Sickness in our body, I know my Redeemer living. I know. When you trace God, you're going to trace him right back to Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord to them that are called according to his purpose. If you went so crazy, uh, I didn't, it didn't feel good, but it worked together for my good. Thinking that you was hurting me, it didn't feel good, but it worked together for my good because it showed me what you was not. Uh, it showed me what you was not. Uh, when I was confused about what I thought she was, your crazy behavior showed me what I thought she was not. All things work together. All things. Unique well, all things work together. Oh, God. It didn't feel good trusting you and being disappointed in you. It didn't feel good, but I can trace how it worked together. 
<laughs> I can chase how it worked together. That's what I can chase how it worked together. When you trace God, you're going to trace him right back to Psalm 18 and 35. Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation. Thy right hand have upholded me in thy gentleness have made me great. My greatness don't come from myself. It comes because he was gentle. Said, but he was gentle. When he should have kicked me to the skirt, he was gentle. When he should have cut me out, he gave me a helping hand. When he should have gone out for me, he said, come back. Come back. Come back. He was gentle. His loving kindness have I drawn thee. He was gentle. When I shouldn't have never been able to pick up a mic again, he kept speaking to me. He kept speaking to me. Samuel, Samuel. Hallelujah. It was like fire. Shut up in my bones. We thought he didn't want us in the But Tim, but the fire was still there. I didn't, I didn't feel the spirit, but I felt the fire. So I, he got to be there because he's in the fire. He was in the fire with the Hebrew boys. He must want me to get back in the mic because I can feel the fire. I can trace the fire back to his presence. Oh God. I can trace the fire to when Moses saw the burning bush. I can trace the fire. Oh God. He must want to use us because we can feel the fire. Doesn't matter. We can still feel the fire. We can still feel the fire. You stay humble when you're tracing God. It keeps you humble because you know if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side. Second Samuel 7 and 17, he told the man of God, according to all these words and according to all the vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. Then went King David in and sat before the Lord and said unto him, Who am I, O God? And what is my house that thou hast brought me hither to? And this was a small thing in thy sight, Lord, but thou hast spoken to thy servant's house for a great while to come. David said, man, who am I? I am nothing. I can trace. I was nothing without you, God. I can trace when I start, where I started out from. 2 Samuel 6 and 20. And David returned to bless his household. And Michal, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David and said, How glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself in the eyes of the handmaids of his service as one of the vain fellows that shamelessly uncovered himself. And David said unto Michael, listen, listen to him. He's about to trace God again. It was before the Lord which chose me before your father. That's a powerful thing to say to somebody. I've had to say that before. It's a powerful thing to say. And before all his house, to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel, therefore I will play before the Lord, and I will be more vile than this. People don't understand where your praise come from because they can't trace God like you can don't get mad at me about how I serve God because I trace God differently. Oh, oh God. Most people only trace God from yesterday, but we trace him way back. Hallelujah. We trace him, matter of fact, all the way back. We trace him back to day one. When you learn how to trace God, you know who to mess with and you know who not to mess with. They, they don't, I can't mess with them because they, they, they know how to pray to God. Every time they pray, something happens. I, I can't fool with them. Uh, hallelujah. I don't want to fight with them because good things don't happen when I'm fighting with these people. 
chapter 6 and 13, and Haman told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends, everything that had befallen him. Then said his wise men and Zeresh, his wife, unto him, if Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, they trace Mordecai, Jasmine, and said, oh, if this boy is a part of that thing called the kingdom of God, uh, you going to be in trouble. They said, if he is seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but thou shalt surely fall before him. It's some crazy folks that they said they loved us. They forgot to trace God back to us. <laughs> they didn't have enough sense to trace. I can't mess with that good thing over there. I can't mess with my blessings. I can't mess with what God has put in my life. That's why you don't want to call my bluff. You don't want to call my bluff. God told Joe to trace me. God is the master tracer. He traces everything he has ever done for us without blinking an eye. God is the master tracer. It behooves us to learn how to trace just as well as God does. God traces everything. 2 Samuel 7 and 8. Now therefore so shall thou say unto David my servant, thus shall the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep, <laughs> to be ruled over my people of Israel. And I was with thee whatsoever thou went. Boy, I remember you was the sheep coat. He said, I took you from the club. I took you from running from man to man. God said, I took you from being called out your name every day to make you a star in the kingdom. Hallelujah. God said, I know what I've done for you. Really start ever talk. It behooves you to remember and trace what God has done for you just as much as he does. Because even though you act the fool like you don't remember, God always remembers. It behooves us to trace what God has done for us. Because even though we act crazy like we don't remember, God always remembers what he brought us from. That's why we keep coming to prayer. That's why we keep coming to church. That's why we keep paying our respect and our dues unto the Lord. Because we shall never forget who brought us. God is the master tracer. He said in Job 38, then the Lord said unto Job, answer Job out of the whirlwind and said, where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Can you trace the foundation, boy? Declare where your understanding. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Has I commanded the morning? Well, do you understand? What, do you trace where the morning came from? It caused the day spring to know his place. The day know his place. Get out the way when night comes. Keep morning out the way when it stay too long. Has thou enlarged the springs of the sea? Or has thou walked in search of the depth? Where is the way where light dwelleth? You don't know where light come from, boy. Can you trace it? As for darkness, where is the place thereof? Has I entered into the treasure of the snow? Or has I seen the treasure of hell? You can't trace snow or hell, boy. Who have divided a water course for the overflowing of waters or a way for the lightnings of thunder to cause it to rain on the earth where no man is? Well, I rain where your weather man don't know it's raining at. On the wilderness where there is no man to satisfy the desolate and waste ground and to cause the bud of the tender herb of the spring forth. Have the rain have a father? Do you trace where the rain come from? Have you traced where the rain come from? Or who have forgotten the drops of dew? Or of the womb, whose womb came the ice. You don't know when Ice Mama got pregnant. You don't know what temperature Ice had a baby. What you talking about, boy? Can you trace when Ice missed her cycle? Can you trace? Can you do that, Joe? Huh? 34. Can thou lift up thy voice unto the clouds that the abundance of water may cover this? Can thou send lightnings that they may go and say, Here we are. God said, when it lightning, the lightning stand in attention. God, here I am. Lightning coming in attention, brethren, and says to God, here I am, sir. Ready for your order. Where do you want me to land? Hallelujah. Somebody shout, where do you want me to land? God said, lightning stops and say, where do you want me to land? Huh? Verse 39, drop there. Who will thou hunt the prey for the lion or feel the appetite of the young lion? 
Will thou provide raven his food when his young ones cry unto God? Look at Job 39. Gave his thou, verse 13, gave his thou the goodly wings to the peacocks or the wings and the feathers of the ostrich? Has thou given the horse strength? Has thou clothed his neck with thunder? Can thou make him, oh, this is the last one. Can thou make him afraid as the grasshopper? <laughs> the glory of his nostril is terrible. God said, I make the horse afraid like a, glad, a grasshopper. When, it lights, when the lightning strikes, the horse giddy ups. <laughs> God said, I make that thing afraid like a grasshopper. That's how much power I have. He said, boy, you can't trace my power. So Job said in Job 19 and 25, for I know my Redeemer liveth. I can look at the lightning and know my Redeemer liveth. I can look at the hawks, the turtles, the doves. I can look at the sea and the ocean. And I can know that my Redeemer liveth. Tell somebody, God ain't going anywhere. I can trace him by the grass on the field. I can trace how many folks changed and lost their mind through the social media and Facebook. You can, you can trace it because you can notice it. You can, you can notice it. I can trace how many folks ain't on fire anymore because they stopped running with the fire. We can trace how much crime has gone up since church attendance has gone down. We can trace it. I can't draw it, but I can trace it. Your trust depends on you tracing God. Your testimony depends on you tracing God. Your tomorrow's joy depends on you tracing God. I can trace my way back to peace. I can trace when I wouldn't fight with you every day. I can trace when I wouldn't arguing with you. I can trace when I wasn't gossiping with you. I can trace when I went going back and forth with people. I can trace when I went debating with people. I can trace the people that weren't giving me high blood pressure. Oh. I can trace the people that weren't making me cuss. I can trace the people that weren't making me lose my testimony. Oh God. I can trace the people that weren't making me mad and angry every day. I can trace it. Tell somebody, don't make me trace you, baby, out of my life. Uh, don't make me trace you out of my life. Because I can trace myself back to that peace. I can trace myself back to my joy. And when I get to that spot, and if your picture ain't in it, I will trace you out of my life. Because as Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth. Hallelujah. Somebody stand on your feet and give the Lord a victory hand clap of praise. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost.